Hi, welcome to this week's video blog. Today we're going to show you how to install a P-Stone walkway. Uh, we're here in Wellesley today. We're doing a backyard renovation. We've already laid down this patio and the sitting wall. Uh, we have plants to come today, but uh, before we plant, we want to get this walkway in uh, so we can tie the front of the yard into this patio. So uh, we'll get started. So we have our base down already. Um, this base is built to the standards that you would have underneath the patio or driveway. It's about nine inches uh, thick. Uh, as you can see, we use uh, geotextile fabric underneath it. That's gonna help with any settling. Um, and in the future, if they wanted to put uh, pavers or bluestone or anything like that, um, it, it's an easy fix to take up the, the P-stone walk and put the pavers or the bluestone on top of this particular base. So the uh, thing to keep in mind is it's sometimes worthwhile to overbuild your bases. Uh, that way, if you ever change your mind in the future, get prepared. So the materials for this project, um, we're going to be using a metal edging, which is a, a 3 16 all steel metal edging that's going to hold in um, our P-stone. You can choose what kind of stone you're going to use. You can use a brown round P-stone. Uh, we're going to use a 3 8 chipped blue stone. Um, but it really is up to you and what kind of finished material you want to use. Uh, it's a good idea to have an angle grinder or a circular saw with a metal cutting blade. Um, the metal edging will come with these spikes to hold the, the edging in place. You also want a five pound uh, hammer um, or even a carpenter's hammer to uh, knock in your spikes. Um, if you haven't compacted your base, you want to do that before you put your P-stone down. Um, and you'd use a, uh, a compactor which you could either rent at a Home Depot or hardware store. Um, and once that's compacted, uh, your edging's in place and you can lay your piece down. Uh, we're going to show you how this all comes together. So before we start cutting, I want to go over some safety issues. The grinder is very loud, so you want some earmuffs, and you also want some eye protection. And remember, it's always important to look good while being safe. So we're halfway through installing our edging. Uh, before you start, you kind of want to know your layout. Uh, in this case, we have five and a half feet off the foundation. And once we pass the foundation, it is closing into a four foot wide walkway. Uh, so it's, uh, it's as simple as this. All you need to do, uh, there's slots in the edging for the spikes. Uh, so make sure the uh, your curve is right or your line is correct. And all you have to do is take a hand So it's time to make a cut. Uh, it's as simple as measuring and cutting. What we like to use is uh, soapstone. Uh, it draws great on metal and also the speed square so you get a nice straight cut. Uh, we want to make this cut at 63 inches. It's just as simple as using your speed square, lining it up. Now you have a line. So uh, before you get the stone in, one of the final things to do, uh, well that we like to do, is go and um, spray paint the tops. Because when you're hammering, uh, the finish starts to chip off and uh, you'll actually get rust spots if you have exposed steel, which you don't want. So we just go back with some, um, you know, some Rust-Oleum or Krylon spray paint. Uh, spray it all down, that way you won't have any rust spots, any uh, wear and tear on it, and it gives it a nice finish look. So we've got all of our edging in, we've got it uh, set to where we want it to be, we've got the spikes in, we've got it uh, freshly painted, and as you can see we've got most of our uh, 3 eighths of bluestone in. You can use 
Uh, any other stone that you might prefer, whether it's pea stone or three quarter inch stone. Uh, but basically you just gotta pour the stone in. You wanna leave a little bit of, re of a reveal on the edging, otherwise you'll have stone kicked off, whether it's from uh, rain, rain runoff or from just general use. You'll get stone into the beds or to the lawn. And uh, so you just wanna leave a little bit of a, uh, an edge there to retain that stone. So we're gonna go ahead and finish this up and see how it looks. So we've got our nice finished walkway here. As you can see, it brings a, a nice defining edge onto the patio, and we're gonna have some planting beds on either, either side. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, feel free to leave them on the blog, and we'll be happy to answer them. Uh, from all of us here at the Garden Continuum, thanks for watching.